Florida sheriff arrested after defending Second Amendment. And this is uh, Liberty County Sheriff Nicholas Finch was booked in his own jail Tuesday with one count of official misconduct by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They accuse him of covering up the arrest of Floyd Eugene Parrish, where he allegedly used some whiteout on, on some items. What's very interesting is at the end of this article, written by one of our new writers, Kit Daniels, Finch was released shortly after his arrest on his own recognizance. He was elected sheriff of the Florida Panhandle County of approximately 8,000 residents in November 2012, running under no party affiliation, which to me is probably key why you had a Republican governor sick his minions on this constitutional following sheriff because he owes his allegiance to no one. He is out there in a tide of elephants and donkeys yabbering back and forth about the Bill of Rights and Constitution when he's the only one following it. We're going to try to get the sheriff on. We're going to try to get to the bottom of this. We want to help out with his legal expenses. Alex Jones said that today, setting up a legal defense fund for him. So we are trying to contact you via Sheriff Mack at this point. And uh, Sheriff Mack, if you get in touch with uh, Sheriff Finch, we would definitely like to talk to him, get his story out to the people because we need to protect those whistleblowers, those people that come out and that stand up in front of the bulldozers, the people that stand up in front of the tanks. We need to protect those people. And we have a short video report on this from Jakari Jackson talking about this and how our own Austin Police Chief, how he fits in with this whole gun grabbing mess. Here it is now. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. Florida Sheriff Nick Finch has been suspended following outrage from the governor that the sheriff allegedly helped a man escape jail. The allegations claim the sheriff destroyed documents concerning a man arrested on a weapons charge. The sheriff contends that he was only respecting the man's Second Amendment rights. We've had many constitutional sheriffs on our programming, including Sheriff David Clark and also Sheriff Richard Mack. Gun control in the United States of America is against the law. And for some of these elected sheriffs that are saying we would not, who is part of what, what branch am I? Executive branch. Your job is to enforce the law as passed. To say we don't have to keep our oaths, we just have to enforce whatever the federal government says. That's an absolute lie. And for more on this topic, you can stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up Sheriff Max, The Magic of Gun Control. I'm Jakari Jackson, and this has been an InfoWars News Alert. <laughs> Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com, the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro Filtered Sports Bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter.